I've had a few weeks off, but I'm finally back. Today we're going to take a look at another model by MJX. This thing looks insane, and it actually looks a lot like the Armour Creighton. And here it is then, and this is essentially just another version of the Hyper Go, but with the Armour Creighton inspired body shell. Now MJX have listened to your feedback, they've now fitted this with oil filled shocks, and you can use your own batteries straight out the box. I am filming this entire video on location today, my plan is to convert my garage into a suitable space to record my videos, but that is going to take quite a bit of time. Before we take a closer look at the truck, let me show you what you get in the box. Now I'm just going to show you the clip from the previous video because everything is essentially exactly the same so take a look at this. MJX have sent me the two battery version of this truck and we do get two 1000 milliamp hour 25c smart lipo batteries. So what makes these batteries smart then? Well you do get a readout on the app which will let you know how much battery you have remaining. Uh, you've also got an LED indicator on the front of the battery which will let you know how much charge these things are currently holding. To charge these LiPo batteries you will have to use a USB-C cable and they do include one in the parts bag there. They also include a little cross wrench and a screwdriver. I don't think you'll be able to charge these on a regular RC charger. Uh, you do have a Dean's connector there at the end of the battery, but you don't get any balance leads. You also get a wheelie bar in the box, which you can't see here because I have already fitted it, but that was a very easy process. And I also include the screws to do that. A phone mount if you want to strap this thing to yourself to get your telemetry details. We get a basic black and white manual, and I would recommend you read this one. Finally, the transmitter. It is quite a big unit. It's definitely one of the biggest ready to run transmitters I've seen. Uh, we've got various different things on this. We've got our steering jewel rate. We've got our steering trim and our throttle jewel rate. We've got a couple of reverse switches and we've got a function button which does activate our LED lights. There's a couple of differences with this version. We've got a slightly more chunky front bumper. We've still got the LED light there. Uh, they've also gone for the old fashioned body clip mounting system instead of the, uh, the mounting system that we see on the monster truck version, which was very similar to what you see on a Traxxas X Max or a Traxxas Max. I prefer the mounting system on the other one, but let's get the body clips off and take a look underneath. Under the body shell, everything is pretty much exactly the same as the monster truck version. You've got the GPS unit there, the two in one ESC and receiver, which is 35 amps. Uh, we've got a heat sink with a fan and a 390 brushed motor. I'm really glad they decided to go for the oil filled shocks as a standard feature because this truck really needed them. One of the other really nice features on these trucks is the HyperGo app. You can get real-time telemetry, you can do your speed runs using the GPS unit. It's a really, really good app and I have gone into a lot of detail on the previous video and I will leave a link in the description below if you want to check that video out. I do go into a lot more detail, so be sure to check that one out if you're interested in buying one of these trucks. MJX have now given us one of the best features on these trucks and that is the ability to use our own batteries. I'm not going to be using the included smart battery today, but I am going to be using a 2200 milliamp hour LiPo battery. Right, let's get the body back on and give it a rip. I'm really glad they've fitted the oil filled shocks now. That would have been one of the first things you'd have to upgrade on this if you wanted to make it usable. <laughs> These things are so much fun. And I say it all the time, you really don't need to spend a thousand dollars on an X Max or a thousand pounds. You know, you can have just as much fun with some of these more budget models. And someone getting into the hobby, something like this is ideal. Right, let's get the GoPro out and get some action shots.
Let's do a quick speed test then. So with the monster truck version, I managed to achieve 22 miles per hour. Let's see if we can hit the same or more. Let's see if we can get 22 out of this then. That'll be the same as the, uh, the monster truck. Considering its size, it's pretty quick. It's definitely up there with the, uh, the 16889. may even be quicker than the 16889. I'm pretty sure I speed tested that, but I can't remember what I got. Right, let's see what we got. Oh, we actually got 23 miles per hour this time. That is pretty impressive. There we go then guys, that was the Hypergo with the Creighton inspired body shell. Really, really good, solid little performer. And even more so now it's got the oil filled shocks. Would I go for this over the high box in 16889? Well, I think it's a bit of a difficult one. Styling wise, obviously this looks a lot better. I really like the monster truck as well. Uh, I think it really depends on whether or not you feel like you need the GPS features. If you don't, then the high boxing might be the better option, but they both perform really, really good. And no matter which one you go for, you're gonna have a huge amount of fun. I do wanna say a huge thank you to, ah oh damn, I can't remember his name. It was someone on the Model Sport UK forum. I basically left a post on there saying, I've just moved uh, to Chelmsford. Is there any decent places around there that you can bash your RC cars? He pointed this place out and I'm so glad he did because I'll definitely be making a few appearances down here. I think it's probably going to be a good place to do some crawling videos as well. So uh, yeah, big thanks to him. I'll stick his name in the description and on the screen. But yeah, very, very exciting. I want to try and take the channel as far as I can. And this is part of the reason why I left East London because I was very limited to where I could run my RC cars and I didn't want the channel to become boring. So this was an excellent move. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below and let me know what you make of this truck. But apart from that, we're going to leave it there. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care.